welcome back. This is Balasco with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I am joined, as always, by my faithful squad of everybody. But we got Bloon, Lou, and Jojo with us today. I do have everybody here. I didn't bother really changing anybody out. I, I should, though. I really should. Now you can go back onto the Eon suit, and you're good. You are good, Jojo. Uh, we need to head into our next side quest, which is here in 2300 AD. If you saw, let's take a look at the map where we are. We're on the southeastern island over here. Uh, this is the Geno Dome. Geno, just like Super Mario RPG. It's awesome. I don't think it has any correlation, to be honest with you. Let's head inside. This, this, that, there's no other name for the side quest as far as I know. It's just the Geno Dome. Let's head inside, though. Who went is here unbidden? Oh. Welcome home, Bloon. Or should I say Prometheus? No, his name is Bloon. You dare to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Well, let me welcome them. Come closer. Did, did, did you lock the way out? <laughs> this probably isn't a good idea. Let's see just what you can do. This doesn't sound good. What's on the conveyor belt? We have... I believe these are new enemies. We're up against the debug ests, of course. Let's, uh... Let's go for... Damn it, I know you got lightning too. There we go. That should work very well. And then we can attack to finish the rest off. Go lightning to Kill the debugists. That's not- oh, I was about to say, is that not enough? Seriously? Okay, apparently it's like 970 health or so? Very strange, you get 904 experience, 16 tech points, and 900 gold and a shield. Oh, we learned the dual tech boogie between Jojo and Bloon, I assume. And Beast Tossed! Beast Tossed? Yes, Beast Tossed. And we have more new enemies? Yeah, this is kind of a gauntlet here. We're up against Proto 4s. Once again, these are going to be, uh... What the hell are you doing? Oh, he healed him for 30. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'm gonna use lightning too. It should do very well if you got Bash with you. Luminaire is also great here, but... Oh, that is not enough for the victory. And it looks like they've got a counterattack? Nope, he just got his turn. That should be enough for the victory. Go, Jojo! Destroy! <laughs> yes! Nicely done, Jojo. Get 954 experience and 16 more attack points and 1600 gold and a barrier. Nice. Uh, you have to bring... Really? Four of them? Fine. As I was saying, you have to bring Bloon along for this and we've got two more of each this time. And really? Six now? Just using lightning too and finishing off the scraps. And level ups across the board and we are done with the conveyor belt. Not bad for humans, but can you find your way to me? Yes, yes I can. But first, while you guys are still on the treadmill for whatever reason, we did learn a couple new techs. Now, not only did we learn some dual techs, let's see where they are. Jeez, this list is just getting so huge, it's hard for me to keep track. Uh, we have Boogie, which halts all enemies, which would be nice if it was more effective. Uh, well, more accurate. Accurate is the word I'm looking for. And Spin Kick and Beast Toss. I think we already knew Spin Kick. I don't know, but we, we definitely learned Beast Toss, where we can hurl an enemy between the two of us for a ridiculous amount of MP. But Luke was also able to learn his next tech, which was Dark Mist, damage enemies with Dark Mist. And he's on his way to learning Black Hole, power of life and death. But he's a ways from learning that. He has got a lot of work to do. Like I said, Bloon is required, otherwise I probably would have brought uh, Kyra I believe is the only other person that needs text. But she's so close. She's so close. Like one or two fights away. And we should have enough tech points for her to, to get flair. Which we have been waiting for for some time. Okay, let's go. Uh, huh. I don't want to go through any of the doors yet. I'll take you guys on. Sure. Why not? 300 years ago, the lava's disaster greatly changed the planet at this rate. Humans will die out from pure despair. <laughs> How fun for everybody! Let's go over here, and uh, we actually need to flip this switch. 
And this opens that up. So we need to head up here, and here you can see some enemies roaming around. We need to wait just a little bit. Okay, now we are ready to take them on. We had to wait for him to get into there and start charging up a bit. Okay, now we need to head over here, grab what's in the chest, which is a full tonic. Now we can get in here, start charging electricity, and we need to run and go to this one that we opened up. And that opens the door. So now we can head in here and grab ourselves full tonic. And 50,000 gold. Good lord, is that a lot of gold. Now we can head over here, and we've got a debuggist. Oh, he's got three. He's got two friends, so three of them in total. That sucks, actually. With him out of the way, let's head back up here and... Huh. Giant conveyor belts. Don't I don't like the looks of that at all. Is there a room up there that I missed? I have a feeling that there is. Yes, right here, actually. Let's head up here. And up here... Huh. Another door that we can't seem to open. Are there anything here? Oh! I wanted to look, but instead there are new enemies, it looks like. We have laser gods. Now you might have noticed that I actually did put the gold stud on to Luke. That's because he's doing a ton of lightning damage right now. Because he needs the experience. So, I, and holy crap, that better be enough to kill him. Four digit damage should always be enough to kill right now. We get 1384 experience and 32 tech points, 480 get a gold and Jojo has learned Dino Tail. Let's take a look at Dino Tail. There's no dual text with that with uh, Bloon, obviously. They already have three together. How many more do you want? But she's on her way now to learning her last tech, which is Triple Kick. She needs a ton of tech points in order to get that done. Uh, but yes, low HP equals greater damage for, for Dino Tail. Luke's still on his way to learning Black Hole. It's not going to take nearly... Well, He'll, he'll learn that eventually. As you can see, everything he knows is magic. I don't remember why they said Janice had no magic, but apparently that didn't transfer. I want the I want the doll. How do I get the doll? Do I have to do this thing again? Go in here. Generate electricity. Everybody out of my way. I'm running with electricity. And no, I can't get I can't get in there. I can't get in there. What happens if I flip that switch? Now can I get in there? That did that did nothing. Okay, that that didn't do anything either. <gasps> Why are you so confusing, game? I no, I just wanted to open the door. Fine, I'll come back to you. I don't like coming back to stuff. But uh oh, they have they have a doll up here. I'll take you on in order to get to the other Poyozo doll. Bye. Why won't you let me fight you? You're a dick. Oh, everything around here is so confusing. Uh, let's head over here then. And this does lead to more treasure chests. Awesome. We get an elixir and a lapis and fights with... Are these proto fours? These like proto fives? Yeah, proto fours. Alright, well that's at least one room down, but we have more puzzle rooms to take care of. So let's head back over there. Hopefully the enemies haven't respawned. So we need to head back up through here. Yeah, the enemies haven't respawned. Good. Let's try this again. How about we do like combos? Yes, that has opened this up. So now we need to do the electricity thing. I was wondering why it wasn't working before, but it wasn't open. It's hard to tell just by looking at it. I think I see the difference now, but that has finally opened so we can head up here and grab the Poyozo doll. What, what did that do for me? Oh, apparently he was sitting on a speed tab. How fun for him. Okay, so it doesn't. I don't know how to get past that guy yet, so we might as well just head on out of here. Let's actually go into this room here. And this leads us up. Fair enough. <laughs> Where are we going? To the second floor, of course. We need to use the save point. Okay, let's head south here and take on some more more of these enemies. They're like lasers guards. There we go. 
All right, let's head down here. We see a treasure chest with a lapis in it, doesn't it? Okay, that's a scary door. Let's avoid that for now and head up here instead. And in here... Oh, what's that? It's a power tab. You can't hide many of the shinies from me. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around, and yet you still want to fight? Why? Because I am human. Does that not make sense? I thought it made sense. Alright, we'll take you guys on as well. Alright, we need to head north. Through this wall, through, through this wall, yes. We need to head through the wall. We need to head through the door. If I knew what I was talking about, that would probably be helpful. I see an arrow there. What does that mean? It means I can go right through the the wall. Alright, let's hit the switch then, since apparently it's like a secret passage. You can't hide that from me. Let's head south here and take on these laser gods. Alright, now we need to head back down here and flip that switch. And we can head... Ah, we just need to head over here. That's right. And... Oh, there's a switch right here. And that opens up this pod here, so... We need to find a charging station once again. That is our objective. And... Oh! We're back at the beginning, so yes! <laughs> we now find this one here. This will charge us up. And it's quite the run. <laughs> go, Bloom, go! Run, charge! And uh, where is it? It was... No, I can't go. Ah, I lost the charge. I lost it. Is there a faster way? I don't think there is a faster way. Like, I can't go that way. So we need to run! Just run! You can do it, Bloon! We can make the journey! And there! We just made it, it looks like. And up here... He didn't even want to fight. You get a full ether and a hyper ether. Nice. Where'd that enemy go? Is he like following me now? What the hell are you? What's up? What are you doing? <gasps> Hold on for one second. All right, we need to take this guy with us. Obviously, if he could follow us, that would be greatly appreciated. God, you're just like the freaking. All right, up here, up here, yes. <laughs> Come on, give me a little bit of, of leniency here. I'm just trying to take you along. God, he's like just as bad as the people in Morrowind. Come on, you can, uh, you can do it, thank you. Now down here. We need to take him all the way. Come on, you can do it. This is like a giant puzzle, by the way, the whole dome. If you haven't been able to tell just yet. Come on, you can do it. Ah, it's like, yeah, once again, it's like Morrowind. It's like I got the boots of blinding speed on. Come on, up here. You see this douche? We need you to lock in the stare down with him. Now, we can, we are free to go back here, get a vigil hat, and another Poyozo doll. It doesn't look like he was uh, sitting on anything, though. Let's take a look at that vigil hat that we worked so hard in order to get. Okay. We... Well, how is it compared to the Eon Helm? It's an upgrade and it protects status. So we need to upgrade that. Did I not switch you? I swore I switched you to the Eon suit. Huh. Okay, whatever. And, uh, yeah, everybody else is good. Let me just double check. <laughs> Did I switch them back? That was so weird. Anyway, we need to head out of here. And we need to head back to the save point. Which, if you remember, was up here. Because now I believe we have fully cleared the Geno Dome, at least the first couple floors of all their treasure. So, I need to rest and save again.